Four on two chance here. Fired across the Ross bottom. Good work in front from Beveris back to Balaz. That's saved by Ma. Malasinski to Beveris. Over the blue line. Shot on goal. Has <laughs> somehow found its way in. Beat everyone, including the goal judge. But Edgar's Beveris lights the lamp. 21-19, time of the goal. Well, <laughs> the eagle celebration from Edgar's Beveris. I'm going to have to see on the replay how this one went through because I must have confessed I thought that Priest had saved it. So well, here we go. Nick's broken out the super cut, slow mo for this through, one. And it just it just handcuffs Priest. It just handcuffs Priest and goes kind of over glove and stick and in under the crossbar. Um, yeah, just a real thing. Dispossessed by Dubai. Giving back to Bullis. Pukovsky. Fire back up to the blue line. Backdoor chance, save Priest. Another chance. That one's fired home. And the Cats score on the man advantage, 46-53, they double the lead. Well, Griffin Priest did what he could there, we've seen the, well, I think I say it every time, we see a goal, power play goal from this position for Chris Jones, that shot from that circle. Unfortunately for Priest, the rebound just goes straight back where it came from. Um, kicked straight back onto the stick of Jones, and with Priest out of position after the first aid, try and create more going into that link centre environment next week where the Wildcats have been very good at home and the Bees, as you say, have, have, have struggled the kind of two times they've been there. And the man of the match goes to Rennie Ma this oh, evening. Understand with his understandable with the um, shutout there. Another shutout for the Scotsman. Bounce back from a slightly off night last night to take the uh, empty box of beers <laughs> home. Don't worry, the full one is in the changing room as the Cats go for their lap of honour to the fans who have stayed with them and come down tonight. To those of you who've watched us from home, and we know there's a few of you obviously, thank you for joining us at any of the games if you have this year, either in the rink or on the stream. It's the last time we see you guys until possibly the playoffs, who knows. Uh, enjoy the rest of your season, enjoy the playoffs, enjoy culture if you're going. And uh, if you're there at the Link Centre next Saturday, come say hi, I'll be there. I'll be the sad one. <laughs> Oh. I'll wear something obvious. <laughs> Man of the match for the bees. Uh, see who is picked tonight. And it goes to Ed Bradley. His Man of the match tonight. A good solid D performance from him. Yeah, I, I feel you've got to give it to ultimately in a 2 0 game. The net miners are the defensemen of the guys who stood out, so it was always going to be one of them. And yeah, we've gone with Bradley tonight, so. A good performance from the man since his, another one I should say since his return from Bristol he of course has to launch a hand into the crowd and it gives us a good time to point out that when we uh, yeah slightly uh, may have mock criticized <laughs> Gianni Fatali making it to the bench we didn't realize it was his mum on yeah. the bench last week yeah, until we sorry. were introduced to her about half an hour after yeah, the game. sorry about that one yep <laughs> sorry Gianni sorry Gianni Ed Bradley has made it all the way Where to block A and cleared the plexi, which has been an achievement for some this year. Solid effort, solid effort. You know. So for the Bees, time is running out. And with fixtures in hand, they know that next weekend is a big one. They go to the link centre on Saturday. Well, obviously, they'd like two points, but if they can get anything out of it, it'll be a plus. And then the big one, possibly the biggest one of the year so far here in Slough, the TSI World Bees welcome the Bristol Pitbulls. Five o'clock face-off here. Nick's forgotten to change the neon night B that he's just realised. I've just heard him thump the desk behind <laughs> us. The Pitbulls are in town. The Bees have lost in Bristol the last two times and Bristol have won on one occasion here this year. If the Bees have any hopes of getting into the top eight. A win on Sunday is imperative. We'll be back here. Me and Nick will be here anyway next Sunday for 4.15. Tom is off for two weeks because he's a slacker. But he'll be back in a couple of weeks' time. Tom, thank you for joining me as always. Oh, thank you for having me as ever. Thanks. Nick, thank you for doing the editing on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you back here next Sunday for Bees versus Bristol. Thank you and good night.